Hi, uh, this is Srinivas Tamara, founder of 9 Okay, uh, let's continue to uh, my previous uh, video uh, because this is, I just explained the welcome page and login and navigations. And now uh, this video, I'm going to explain how to connect with APIs and how to design your API. I think a uh, long time back, I published an article about like how to create a full API with a slim framework and like I just gave an example to do with a token based restful API if you want you can go through this and uh, you will get some information so how I generated the APIs and anyway I'm going to explain this today so this is what we explained in the uh, we actually we discussed about this like how the login and from the login you can go to the pages navigations and then you can come to logout and the same way for sign up as well but now we are going to connect with the apis uh, to do real authentication with the database connection so let's see how we're going to start uh, with this okay mm -hmm. so you can go through this and you will understand more anyway i just created a small uh, repository for uh, uh, php slim restful uh, let me import this and uh, and i'll explain this code a little more uh, so i have a uh, before that uh, you have to install the uh, xamp uh, this is a php server for apache and mysql support so this is what like I just started these projects and uh, the database works here like you know PHP admin or usually the server answer localhost and so this is what my database uh, thinks so let me create uh, this is a banana project so let me create a project name called uh, database name uh, banana and and go to the HD docs folder and uh, import that uh, repository from the git so I'm here and let me git clone and let me import this let's see this is what uh, PHP so this is what my files you'll find the API folder inside this and so there is a I'll open this with the uh, editor. Let me open it uh, in the applications and the Xcode and HD Docs. The slim. Let me open this. Uh, so uh, uh, here, uh, this is a slim framework library. So I'm, we are going to work on these two files. So this is a general configuration file your database. Uh, so I just uh, created a database. So I'm using the same name. And this is what your project works at because we copied in the HD docs. So it will be like this is what the path of your API. And this is what your API secret key like. I'll explain you why I added this. If you want, you can add whatever you want because based on this site key, like we are going to create a uh, token uh, because you can chain this uh, frequently like from the database, you can connect this and you can change it later. Otherwise you can uh, modify it here as well. So based on this, we are going to use site key and based on the user session, we are like encrypting in an MD5 concept and then hashtag finally we are generating a key. So that key, that token, we are going to use it for uh, all the like uh, authenticate, I mean, uh, pulling the records from the database. Okay, uh, let me explain this. Uh, so I just gave some table things here, like you can just, uh, this is a small uh, users table. Like this is just a basic uh, thing, like, uh, so I'm going to just import this, uh, executing this. Uh, so this is a user table with like uh, if you see this like it's a user ID with uh, auto increment and primary key 
and username and password name and email if you want like you can add uh, status create a time everything you can add it but this is just an example so i'm giving it and in this tutorial we're going to read uh, login user feed details like to understand better with apis so i'm going to import that like so this is what user feed uh, this is just feed id and uh, uh, feed text but I forgot to add uh, user ID uh, foreign key with uh, so which user is updated so int let me add this I'll update that as well in the git so this is what the feed table and and this is a user table so we created the database right now and so let me explain what I did with a PHP like this is just a configuration file I'm specifying all the database ID everything and this is what the database connection with the PDO connection and this is a small function for generating a token uh, so this is what our index dot uh, PHP file with the slim so this will give you to uh, create a like small functions with uh, for API's so i created a login and sign up here there is a login and sign up uh, and i need to create a function for feeds as well i'll explain it so here the thing is like this is what the base if you want you can use get as well here so so let's post is a better always so this is just login and this is what the response data you'll get it from the api so post data so this will be in a json format uh, so uh, i'm just opening the db connection here and uh, uh, there is a query like uh, maybe username will be like uh, a username as well email people going to use it so so that's why i'm just checking with our statement and the password the and the password like uh, i am encrypting in a, a hash format with 256 that password i'm storing into the db because we should not store the password directly in the database so i'm just executing it and uh, and then i'm just i think this line is no not needed no need to count it and i'm getting all the results uh, here and then that user data if it is there i am with the result i'm just pushing with uh, this user ID I'm passing into a API token uh, function and this one is encrypting with the different things if you want you can add extra things as well for more security uh, so and then that one I'm just exporting like you know the output is this with user data and this the same way sign up we are getting all this information from the input email name username and password and i am doing some more test for uh, with regular expression for proper username for email uh, so uh, maybe some spell mistakes here but i just i'm using the same the same email and uh, password so all these if satisfied all the things with these regular expressions like I'm just testing it the same email present or not or username is present or not uh, if it is there we are ignoring it or else if it is no results I'm just inserting the data here with uh, with the PDO things we are checking all the proper inputs or not and once you got it like and I, I have written a like uh, internal function because this function you can use it for uh, because based on email you can get it the uh, user id because it's based on the user id only we're going to do everything because here we don't know the user id because it's automatically generated so here we are getting the user id that user id i'm sending to the um, like output so here again the internal user like based on the input i'm just adding injecting the token and the same thing i'm written here that one I'm exporting it here so let's uh, uh, test this and uh, 
and anyway there is a HD access file uh, this is uh, actually a friendly uh, URL like you know uh, it will create a proper namings like here uh, basic thing is there are uh, it will not work with uh, cross domain things because this one is a API so we are accessing from the mobile client so we should we should uh, access it from anywhere so that's why I'm giving origin uh, star this means you can access it from anywhere this will allow you to do cross domain basically if you're uh, designing for a website you can specify the domain here and here there are some x request and content type all these things you have to allow, uh, enable it so let me uh, test this how this works uh, uh, let me insert something so try to install a poster a postman uh, this is a, a small software to test uh, the apis so so like you know uh, let me uh, test uh, uh, like uh, sign up so this is what your url for login and sign up all these things it will create here like this what your uh, name and the and this function is triggering this is the function name a sign up and the sign up so let me try with uh, sign up from outside so basically the body is uh, just uh, mm, this is a uh, raw data and uh, this is the post method so i'm using post usually our data will be like this uh, from the client it will go like this uh, username mm, some like uh, Srinivas and password let me give some nine lessons and uh, email Srinivas at nine lessons dot info and then and name yep so let me trigger this so you will get the response here let's see yeah if you see here like uh, uh, you got some response so if you see the user table uh, you got the new input with the encrypted password so the password is nine lessons but it's storing in this way and uh, the api response is this like you'll get all the user information like this way like let me show you how it is coming let me create a new file like control s uh, let me use a dot json and let me format the data document so this is what the output this is what the user data i'm sending back when sign up is done like user id and name all the uh, information what you are exposing okay here i'm uh, without password so i'm just generating a token so based on this token uh, whenever you want to access user data like feed data or any uh, photos data or followers data or messages data everything you're going to use this one and this one so uh, the same code should generate in the back end as well then only because this contains your site key and all the encryption thing with the user id so based on this we are going to access other uh, apis so that we'll talk about later let me connect the same thing with uh, uh, our like you know ionic application let's go back to this uh, code let me close this anyway this thing is working right now so let me change this to a project mm, back to recent so ionic welcome this is the project <coughs> and this is a sign up and this is what uh, we are talking about so this one we are going to connect with that uh, api so let me add a small hyperlink because if, uh, uh, 
like for login link here because so login login page so because for the navigation like yep uh, so this is what and here you have to do the small navigation like login and this dot nav control dot push and the login and the same thing you have to import the page uh, and the login from login and the login like I'm just adding a small link to go directly to the login page. If you want, you can add it here as well. But anyway, first I'll explain the sign up and then otherwise you need to refresh every time. So, okay, let's back to here. So uh, before that, uh, we need to create a provider for this because we need to access HTTP request. So we need to create a authentication provider. So basically you can create a, because Right now we have all the pages. Uh, so we're going to create a new provider that will actually connect to it. You can configure uh, the, uh, it's kind of injectable function wherever you want, you can use it. Let me create it. So go to your uh, Ionic uh, welcome project. And then, so the best thing in Ionic is uh, you can uh, create a provider like with a simple command. Uh, so, so this is Ionic G and provider and I'm just creating an auth service. So this is going to create an injectable component. So if you see this project now, uh, there is a provider folder has been created. If you see there is a some injectable function with all the HTTP things because based on the name it will import all the stuff and create it for us. So now uh, we're going to configure this. Okay, let me create a small variable because we need to set the base URL. So, so this is what I'm creating a API URL. So we know that our API URL is this. Uh, if you, you, you configure it with your uh, uh, domain like uh, hosted domain you can give that name but right now I'm testing with the local so this is what my base URL because here the things is going to change uh, we configured in that way like login everything so let me create a small function for uh, sending a post data to HTTP so I'm creating a post data function uh, like usually we'll get like you know uh, like credentials or like we call it as credentials like i mean like you'll send the json for all user data like and the type here the type is like um, i mean the api name like login sign up or feed or something because we are going to append this with here so this function you're going to use it everywhere with the data user data and the what kind of API are connecting so now so we need to write some promises so there is you will find this code everywhere like uh, from the angular thing so this is called resolve and respect the two promises we are going to use so and then, and whenever you do these kind of things, we need headers. So you can create headers like this, a new object. And then we need to write the, we need to call this HTTP. So this dot HTTP dot we'll get the things like what kind of action you're doing it so the post and 
basically like you need to pass uh, things here like uh, so we'll do that so here the syntax is like you know subscribe and uh, response the subscribe response you'll get it here and then error the same way error is going to do it here like so yep like maybe this is reject and this error will get and the post data like we're going to pass the three things here like first one is api url because this is the api url and which api url is connecting with the type and then and this credentials and then the headers okay let me i think this is an error so we didn't import the headers so okay so this looks good now and the credentials it's because you should always convert this into a json string if format so make it in a json dot stringify so that way you'll not get any problems so make sure everything looks good and uh, yes semicolon and the resolve and the response json output and this is what the same i think something is missing let me or uh, i think i guess we added something here like yep yeah okay now uh the provider has been created let me see if we are getting any error oh yeah okay we are good right now so so we created this function like so uh because this is what the api and the type so i'll explain you how to use this in the sign up page so before that go to the uh so you have to import this in a app model like so whenever you create a new things you have to import it here let's see let me import the providers uh, before pages i'm doing it import from like providers and you'll get a lot of things like and um, this is what the name not service so i'm just importing that here and the same thing i'm going to use it in the importers so now we are like using it to the entire application now so now back to the pages let's close this uh, thing mm, back to the pages now go to the sign up page yeah so now we are going to import the importer i mean provided sorry import and uh, auth service and from providers and uh, auth service so this one we're going to use it here so let's and so this provider we're going to use it so anyway this one we are not using it so instead of that i'm replacing that with uh, so now i imported in the constructor so this is what the thing like <coughs> so i'm going to use this here like this is what the sign up let me format this and this is what the api connection so then once the api connection is successful we are redirecting to the home page i mean the tabs page you'll understand if you watch my previous thing so 
So we are going to do this after the API connection is successful. So let me let me make it in a single line. So I just commented this and now we're going to use the auth service. So this mm, dot auth service plus the function is like post data and here we are getting the user data basically so this dot user data means what is the user giving from the inputs so and uh, before that we need to create that uh, variable here some uh, basically our user data will be this i mean if you see this this is what our user data because here we're going to fill up with the inputs so let me create a user data thing uh, so with the empty thing with empty data this is an object i'm creating close these things yeah but so we don't have anything here now so this is what I created it and usually we'll get the response I'm creating one more object I mean creating it because here we're going to set up the um, I mean assign the data here like so this is what the credentials it comes here so we need to fill up with these things so We'll connect this thing with uh, like a page. You can, if you want, you can add public here. But anyway, this is by default. It's a public. So, and the function required a type as well, because that's what that how because two parameters of the user data and the type. So then, you need to write a promise, and then here we get the result. And then this type is like you can directly pass because this is one this one you know because we are going to call it sign up so this API slash sign up API we are connecting so and now here you need to write the this is what the response data we are assigning the data equal to this result this is what the API result will get it here. So this one we are going to use it like in the home page. Like if you want you can log it like this dot response data. You can see what is coming from the uh, database. I mean, I mean the API. So then basically we are, once this is successful, we are redirecting to the home page. Tab page means it's a home page. But, but this data, we are going to use it in the applications and their application. So because you are changing different pages from about to, I mean, there are different pages. So that's why I'm going to store this data somewhere because we need to carry this thing from different pages. So that's the reason I'm using a local storage. This is like, you know, application cache. So you can set item. And you can give the data set name like, I mean, like I'm giving just to use the data and you can assign this one to here because based on this keyword, based on this key local storage key you can pull this information i'm storing it here so anyway whenever you got the response you make it in the string right because of uh, to, because if anything missing it will completely convert into a json so now this is what we are doing right now and if you want some here some connections will fail so i'm writing an error uh, thing so 
if you want you can show some messages or you can like you can redirect to some other things like oh sorry i made a mistake so if you want like you can alert it like connection is failed or something like connection failed message right now i'm not going to add anything so i don't want this right now so this is what the connection let's see uh we need to link up this object because we need to get all this information from the html sign up page so how are you going to do that so this is what your sign up oops mm. you got some error like you know uh, for http thing so the thing is uh, we are going to use we need to import the http uh, model module here like in the app like you can import it like import Mm. HTTP module from Angular stuff. This is uh, at the right Angular. Yes, HTTP. Yep. So this one you need to include in the importers. So now back to the sign up i think this issue going to resolve now hmm yep it got resolved so let's uh, connect this object uh, with a sign up dot h1 because we need to get all the information so so this is a simple thing like you can uh, assign this with the ng model so these are our inputs like uh, this is for name email and username and password so let me do it like this is what the syntax for ng model uh, for ionic uh, i mean angular uh, 2 or 4 like now it's 4 so this is what the object name like user data and and anyway by default we are giving everything so empty so user data dot this is name so name in the same way whenever you type something it will bind with this so this is email and this is username and this is password so and uh, because we are getting everything here like if you want to uh, add some more validations here like angular is giving by default validation before submitting the data so i'll explain it in some other post or next post how to do validation properly for this but right now we don't have much time so uh, let me finish off the task so now the data is whatever you're typing the data is assigning here then that data comes here and connect with the provider and this api and then it will redirect to the home page and set this user data let me show you how this works let me make it short mm. yeah now let's register a user yeah now i'm giving like Superman, superman at gmail.com. The superman one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see the console. Now you will see the result you are getting it from the API. So, this is what the API is responding. So, if you see the now, if you see the XH, XHR request, like you know, sign up. So this is what the headers we sent, like this is what the information we sent and the API responded back with the data like this. So now we need to link up with the logout now. 
so then because once you log out you can go back to the home page so let me uh, show you like how to do how to do with the logout now so so and before that we need to display the user data here like you know welcome to user data i think username and and like we'll show some details here like email and all uh, now just go to the home.ts now now let's display some user data here like from the like you know we are storing in the into the local storage based on this key we are going to uh, um, display some data here like uh, so now basically like this is the logout now here anyway we need to work both here so initially like I'm going to give uh, like uh, let me create something like uh, some public user data and user details like any this is like creating a public variable like and now let's uh, so I'm creating a small variable called data and uh, this is what constant variable like uh, we got local storage and dot get item so like you know we are going we are going to pull the information based on the key so this is what the key now so we're getting the data here now so and before uh, getting it so we need to convert this into json purse so that way you'll get the proper json like you can render it properly with the data so this is a constructor so in the constructor i am assigning this to like um, data dot so what is our like how we are storing this like this way we are storing so and i'm sorry like uh, we are the response is coming in this way like the object so this is what the object the object key is uh, user data so that's why i'm using data dot yep uh, user data so now I mean this dot so I mean this so we are assigning everything here now we are going to use this and uh, bind with the page so let's go to the HTML page now and uh, so this yeah uh, let me replace this with the username so uh, this is simple like you know you can bind with like we know that user details dot name so the name refers to here the dot name so in the same way we are going to display some h3 tag like i'm going to display this uh, email okay so it's again the same user details dot email let's save it and we'll see what's happening here Oh, okay so before that we need to complete the login as well because we need to log in with the same uh, user id so let me complete that this is exactly like you know uh, everything is same but uh, we need to change few things um, let's follow the same like you know sign up you can take this off this code and go to the login page and we're going to paste this up here and instead of sign up we are using login and again this is the same page it's redirecting so yep uh, now uh, like we need to import this as well like you know uh, from sign up so copy this and importing this library we are not using this anymore so import the auth service and the same way this one let's replace with this and now i'm saving it in the same way like i uh, need to import these things as well mm, because we are using the same things here so here like we are not using email and uh, name so we are carrying only these two things 
so let's save it and and now like you know in the and we need to do it here uh, like here and copy and paste it here uh, and this is a password I'm using the same names like you know the sign up uh, don't confuse because if you want you can change to different names and change this uh, value in a different like login data and here like you know uh, like sign up data here so that way you can differentiate so now uh, like mm, everything done so uh, let's uh, minimize this and let's say save everything hope so and if you see here uh, the few minutes back we registered so that uh, that user has been inserted here like uh, we know the password is one two three four five six with the same username and the password we are going to log in the application now let's see i am clicking in the superman and the password is one two three four five six so if you click oh i'm getting a false so i think i made a mistake let me see what is going on here oh i think see we are not sending properly like username and password and names so instead of username i'm sending as a name so let's uh the small problem with the bindings so go to login.html instead of the name give the username so username so let's save it and let's refresh it again okay now login and the superman and one two three four five six let's log in and if you see uh, welcome to superman and the email came because now the data has been like you know came and so right now we are pulling this information from the local uh, local storage like <coughs> this is what the information I'm unbinding here so based on this I'm like you know doing it so now uh, let's uh, because we have different users as well here we'll try with a different user as well like you know with my thing my name so let's let's implement the logout functionality here so here like you know so we need to clear up this uh, local storage so let's do it that that one first like yeah now uh, you know this and this is what the uh, navigation thing so so local storage dot clear so this way you can do or if you want you can set the MTA value again like you know this value again you make it to empty here if you want but this is the best way to clear it off so and uh, the thing is like you know um, you have to uh, because it will take some time to clear because then it will go to a redirect thing so that's why we are going to implement a little set timeout thing for the delay for triggering this uh, function so let me create a small function like uh, so back to welcome so this code i'm moving there like for the reference so this is function so i'm writing a small set timeout so you can use set timeout this way mm. in a type script and now okay this is the syntax actually and now we are going to call the function i mean this part so that's why I'm, i created a function so back to welcome and then make it one second like you know thousand milliseconds now what happened is like it will clear the data and it will delay some two one second or two seconds like let's see like when you click it it will go to it will trigger this and it will go to the uh, welcome page so and again we need to implement one more thing as well like you know whenever the, the data already in the local storage local storage data is already present so we should not show this because the data already there so we should directly redirect to the home page so that's the reason 
we are going to modify home page as well like if if the local storage data is present we need to redirect to like i mean uh, <coughs> the home page so we can do this way like uh, because basically whatever it comes it comes here constructor or if you want the ionic view did load also same but uh, we'll explore this later but um because when our page comes here it will come here so so i'm going to write uh, you know small uh, if check here like if we know that local storage and the get item so that is called the user data the key name and if it is present i mean some data is there inside this so let's redirect to the and we know that so like set root and the tabs page so okay, so we should import this so import tabs page from tabs and tabs yep now if you see if i refresh refreshing right now so now the data is present so it should redirect to the home page and you have to always check the log uh, because if you have any errors uh, it will come here and if you see the home page i didn't see it properly i think yeah I, I didn't give the function name properly so now let's save it and uh, now let's trigger the logout and see how this works yeah let's trigger the logout and it said it's taken because we gave two seconds it's it's a very big thing so you can change it to like you know one second because it's showing like so much of delay so that's it like you know almost uh, we covered like you know the login and the sign up as well for the redirections because now if i refresh this like again it will be like uh, you know the home page again if i am along with a different user like um, like the nine lessons let's see what it comes see it's a different user like so you know Stamada and my email id which is this is what the username i used so again let's log out so now little speed if you want you can change it to like you know 500 milliseconds also like always make it a little delay that's that's always better so uh that's it right now then uh, maybe the next video like uh, i'll explain how the validation works and uh, all of the stuff and how we're going to handle that as like what if if i am giving a wrong user id what we're going to show we're going to throw some model pop-ups and all let's continue and thank you